Alright, your substitute is going to click on each of the links in this envelope. Each of them takes you to a YouTube clip about some different sport. You don't necessarily have to watch the entire clip. Um, you may or may not want to. You guys decide that. Don't give up too early on the table tennis, however. It does get a little more interesting. Um, while you're watching, think about this sport and the physics concepts that we've talked about in class and where it's here. Which of those concepts really typify this sport? In other words, which of those does it highlight? As a little reminder, here are some of the physics concepts we've talked about this year. Acceleration, friction, air resistance, momentum, and conservation of momentum, impulse, any of Newton's laws, hopefully you remember what each of those is, inclined planes, which is what we've been calling ramps, pushing and pulling things at an angle, and that's just a short list. I'm sure you can think of more yourself. One way to go about this is to think to yourself, okay, which what's going on in this problem that we can make up a really cool uh, what's going on in this sport that we can make up a really cool problem about? Or, if I wanted to teach somebody about one of our physics concepts, which of these videos would I use to teach that concept? So let's take a look at one. So here's the symbol. We're going to click on billiards. If you click on view to view on YouTube down here, it's going to give you a bigger screen. And the screen will come up. Fast forward a little bit here. I'm going to come back to Yeah, I'm just coming right back to it. clip if you want to. But the basic point is when you're watching that clip, what are you seeing in there that really speaks to some of the physics we talked about in class? And I hope that the first one that comes to your mind is not only conservation of momentum, but conservation of momentum in two dimensions. But maybe you thought about something else, like maybe you thought about the friction that was involved between the pool ball and the pool table. Or maybe you thought um, about problems that we did when we had to calculate the force that applied and the acceleration that resulted um, earlier in the beginning of the year. So write this down on a piece of paper and you should have some conversation um, at the end of class or maybe a couple different points in class you should talk with each other uh, as moderated by the substitute about what some of the things that you saw were and hoping that you come up with not a lot of really just good, a lot, a lot of good ideas but also some really clever ideas too.